Hey, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, call Halal Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahushai, Ba'ashim Kadash. Once again, double honors go out to the apostles, bishops, and elders of Great Millstone who deserve double honors. Salutations go out also to the fellow Akim out there on the highways and byways across four corners of the earth, pushing this truth all honest and sincerity, trying to wake up the remaining, hopefully, elect. This is Nama of the DC camp. And you've probably, when I was doing my intro, Red, what's up on the screen here? This is discussing. This was uh, the uh, elder of the main GMS uh, camp in Chicago. He puts these out very informative uh, for water, uh, for him doing so. And uh, it says, why are these stories not in the mainstream media? How very true. And you have to wonder. But then again, on the backside, you have to understand there's an agenda being forwarded here. Let's read some of this. Joe Biden's daughter said that her dad showered with her inappropriately. This has been going around the rumor mill, rumor mill Salaki, uh, for a while now. It says the FBI confirmed it today. This is the sitting president of the United States. How is this not a huge story? Here she is. My father molested me in the shower many times, Ashley Biden. Okay. Why isn't there FBI pouring into the White House or wherever this devil is now? Putting handcuffs on him. Him doing the perp walk. Why? This is more serious. Well, this goes with the, the laptop the FBI supposedly lost. And that allegedly, I have to put it out that way, uh, had uh, damaging info on it as it pertains to what's going on in the Ukraine now. And, uh, you know, his own son's questionable acts, you know, the video that circulated around with him uh, <laughs> um, doing crack and other shit, you know. And yet, it gets swept under the rug. But now, as someone pointed out, and I was looking at uh, other videos today, someone pointed out that here you have another allegation against Cosby from 1969 and another one from Mike Tyson. They always have these distractions. They put black males and it serves as a distraction to these powerful Edomite, so-called white men. Haven't you noticed that? But see, this is not the only thing here. There's a connection here because and I hope you understand where I'm coming from, where these people that are selected, which you think you elected to these certain offices, especially if this high, this person is an advocate for an agenda, all right, that these elites have. He's in that position for a reason. They did not want Trump because Trump was too much of a maverick. They couldn't control him like this guy here. And this is one of the reasons why of those that I just mentioned. They got something on him. Don't do what we want you to do, and your ass is gonna be, well, use your imagination. Wow. And people still think, well, get out and vote. This is, no. Here's my point when I was talking about an agenda. Let's move over to here. We've been telling you people ever since this so-called medical situation the last almost three years now something was really fishy about it all right and we knew from an exercise that they had a few months before the end of 2019 all right and then all of a sudden boom bam lockdowns hmm again this was an agenda let me read this it says why are these stories not in the mainstream media. 
Henry Kissinger, quote, from a speech to the WHO Council on Eugenics, February 25th, 2009. All right, now, let me get the definition of an advocate. Remember I used that word, why these certain individuals are in are placed in these offices. So let's go to, what is an advocate? This is from dictionary.com as a verb, to adv advocate it or advocating, to speak or write in favor of, support or urge by argument, recommend publicly. You know what's anything different about what Trump wanted to do? And this guy that got in here largely due in part because of you so-called Negroes playing on your emotions. They got you good. Just like with that Obama shit. Got you good. Oh, someone that looks like me, even though he's not of your nation. And that's your problem. You're too focused on black. Black is not a nation. Black is a color. You're not even black. So now I've already fucked with your mind so much that you don't even know you don't even care what nationality you are. You just, you're just a color. He's got dark skin like, he's got different nations with dark skin. By that logic, an Elamite, an East Indian, Pakistani, or, you know, <laughs> Iranian, any of those people, they, some of them, are, a lot of them are darker than your average Jake. So now that you know that, I'm black. A lot of people, they have their minds to the extent that they're just gone. They're, hey, the two thirds, what can you say? But again, this is what you have in office. This is the people that they place and they play this game with you, Republican and Democrat. That doesn't matter at all. Like I said, Trump was not with this. All right, Trump at heart is a businessman. All right, now that's, you know, I didn't want to get caught up in all that, but this is why this devil is in here. Let me finish this. This is Henry Kissinger. He says, once the herd, and that's the people, this is what they think of you. Once the herd accepts mandatory vaccinations. Remember, this is 2009, February 25th of 2009. It is 2023 now, 2023. Once the herd accepts mandatory vaccinations, it's game over. They will accept anything, forcible blood or organ donation for the greater good. We can genetically modify children and sterilize them. And that's the whole thing about that. You ever heard of CRISPR? I suggest you look into that. That's all this was, gene therapy. It says, for the greater good, you know, sterilizing you. Control sheep minds and you control the herd. Certain makers of those medicines stand to make billions. Billions. And many of you in this room are investors. It's a big win-win. We thin out the herd, and the herd pays us for extermination services. This is the wickedness of these motherfuckers that are the true rulers. He's a representative of them, this Kissinger piece of shit, who also made a comment back during the Vietnam War era about soldiers being dumb animals. <laughs> now they're trying to walk it back. Nah, uh-uh. But this is what you people get. You motherfuckers, you, you heard up and you did that shit, all right? This was nothing but a test run at the end of the day because they wanted to see with what else is coming down the pike, how much pliable, how much more pliable certain of you were. You'll accept anything they say because you've given condition, but a lot of us are like, wait a minute, especially when it comes to our people, these motherfuckers have never been, wait a minute, you wanna, all of a sudden you wanna help 
my people now? No, 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 no. Mm -mm. And then with me, what really got it was they went to the descendants of the Tuskegee experiment to convince them. And then they came on and said, no, 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 fuck that. Nah, I know something. Other than the fact that, you know, never trust that enemy, you know, Sarah 12 and 10 on down, uh, or Ecclesiasticus, for those of you who aren't familiar with uh, the shorter version of that. Uh, yeah. And you need to understand those apocryphal books were removed for a reason. All right. Know who your enemy is. That's what every living thing on this earth has an enemy. Christianity, all right, was a ploy, especially with our people. Love everybody, but everybody's trying to destroy you and I. Let's scroll to the next one. And this is some other of their agenda. The end of national sovereignty, the end of all privately owned property, the end of the family unit. What should that remind you? Black Lives Matter. Who is it headed by? Three homosexual women. One of which was dismissed, uh, was it last year? I think it was. Uh, started buying up all this property. The only reason they got rid of her is because she attracted uh, unwanted attention. They got caught uh, removing uh, part of their charter, I'm talking about BLM, as it pertains to removing the uh, patriarchal system, getting rid of the man as the head of, ha uh, head of household. They removed that part of the charter that said that was part of their reason. Uh, depopulation, control, uh, let's see, what is it, because of red, control of population growth and population density, mandatory and multiple uh, fee, to see, universal basic income, see, so now I'm, you no longer have to work for a living, I give you this, but if you go against uh, me, I can just cut you off. Uh, it says see hipped society for tracking and controlling purchasing and travel uh, implementation of a world social credit system uh, like China has uh, let's see uh, let's see appliance let me see, 5G monitoring system internet of things okay and there's the other one big one that's encircled in red government raise children all this time it has been an experiment the father at the house or if you're fortunate enough to have both parents both of them are working to the extent where you're really not being parented all right so now it comes to they're telling you what was the aim all along government raised children so this motherfucker is the devil if you haven't figured it out now all right, he is the adversary, is what Satan means, all right? But the devil, he's a liar and deceiver. That's actually what that means. All right, this is the devil that the Bible speaks of, all right? This is who a lot of you, especially the so-called black woman, this is what they, this is who they look up to. This is their real lover at the end of the day. They don't, black man, <laughs> so called that's her real love she gonna do anything that he tells yeah so sad and you know after all this people still not gonna get it they're still not gonna wanna believe because they think it's, there's some healing in this wicked piece of shit but Jeremiah hey 51 tells you there's no healing this place is gone let's get that real quick it says the utter destruction 
all right, of Babylon. This is America, Babylon the Great. All right, thus saith the Most High Yahweh, Behold, I will raise up against Babylon and against them that dwell in the midst of them that rise up against me. A destroying wind. How do they rise up against the Most High? By what they're doing. You got to remember, since the Renaissance, since the time of Columbus, this has all been blasphemy. They replaced the real images with themselves and went especially over here to the so-called New World the Western Hemisphere, and what? They subjugated the northern kingdoms of Israel, which came over here during the Assyrian captivity, circa 700 uh, BC, and not before then, uh, you know, and subjugated them with their own book, but with their images in it as a substitute. All right? And everything else has been just the transfer, massive transference of wealth from Israel to the nation of Edom, the so-called white man during that time period up until I usually just use the marker of the uh, U.S. Civil War as a marker, all right, around 19, I mean, 19, 1860. <clears throat> all the bulk of the transference of wealth had been done by then. All right, it's still ongoing as a matter of fact, but I mean, you look at all those images of Jake being strung up with, I'm talking about Northern Kingdom in this case, uh, with fire underneath them, uh, tortured, forced to work and mine their own resources for this devil, you know. Uh, so lock you real quick, hold on. Yeah, so lucky yeah, I'm back. Uh, whew. Mm. Yeah, so uh, continuing on, uh, talking about that destroying wind, but it says, how did they rise up against me? Well, look what he's done to, to the nation of Israel that were over here, you know. Of course, Northern Kingdom first, and roughly 130 years later, Southern Kingdom, you know, was brought over here through the slave trade, all right? Two, and I will send unto Babylon fanners, all right? Let's check out what that means, fanners, all right? Uh, all right, it says, uh, Strong's H2114, to turn aside, let's see, hence for foreign strange profane, all right? Let's go into the Get the secular definite data. Let's see. All right. Oh, sh how did I do that? No, 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 no. There you go. Okay. Oh. Wiktionary. Let's see. Uh, that wasn't very helpful. Hold on. Here it is. As a verb, fanned or fanning, to move or agitate. All right. Uh, let's see. Yeah, as an agitator. All right. I apologize for like this. For some reason it's been a little slow here. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Uh, or, okay, uh, down here it says to stir. All right. A troublemaker who fanned resentment among the staff. All right. And 
you know, America is doing a great job of that itself because they're in everybody's own business, all right, trying to tell them what to do. And they're also, by expecting everyone to be on, uh, uh, on board with whatever they do, it's hurting these other countries. Take Germany, for instance, as a prime example. You know, as a result of what happened with that, uh, that pipeline that mysteriously, you know, blew up. Uh, oh, they're suffering. It says, and we'll send up upon Babylon fanners that shall fan her and shall empty her land. For in the day of trouble, they shall be against her round about. Hmm, sounds like Revelation 17 chapter to me. Three, against him that bendeth, let the archer bend his bow. And against him that lifted himself up in his brigadine. And spare ye not her young men, destroy ye utterly all her host. Thus the slain shall fall in the land of the Chaldeans, and they that are thrust through in her streets. For Israel hath not been forsaken, nor Judah of his God or power, of the Most High Yahweh, the Lord of hosts, though her land was filled with sin against the Holy One of Israel. Is that not America? Flee out of the midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul. Be not cut off in her iniquity, for this is the time of the Most High Yahweh's business. All right, sounds like Micah 2 and 10. All right, at least get out of the mindset. All right, come out of those traditions that America likes to embrace, like Christmas and all these other wicked uh, so called holidays. All right, get your mind right, in other words. All right, and that's what we're trying to do to our people out there on the highways and byways. We're trying to tell them, number one, who they are, who they are. Number two, who they should be praying to, what the Most High's real name is. What is his son's real name? Real name. It's Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, respectively. All right, and you have to go through Yahweh Shai. All right, he's the mediator. All right, it's like, all right, it says, uh, uh, for this is the time of the Most High Yahweh's vengeance. He will render unto her a recompense. All right. Babylon hath been a golden cup in the Most High's hand that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine, therefore the nations are mad, meaning her philosophies, her doctrine. The big one, democracy. Democracy. And everybody's like, this is some bullshit. No, we didn't sign on for this. All right. And, uh, you know, that's why I reference Revelation 17 chapter, particularly 15 and 16 verse, but you need to read the whole thing. It says, Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. Howl for her, take balm for her pain. If so, be, she may be healed, but we know. Mm -mm. Next verse, verse nine, we would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her and let us go every one into his own country for her judgment reacheth unto heaven and is lifted up even to the skies. Isaiah 13 chapter and Revelation 18 chapter. All right. All this wickedness is piled up to the point where it has reached the heavens. This place has got to go. All right. The earth, again, another scripture, Revelation eight, uh, 11 and 18. They are destroying the planet along with the people. Now they're talking about having uh, insects as part of all your foods now. Yes, I saw the article and it came, uh, not only that, it came across uh, in the group chat. Yes, this is what these elites, that's what they think of your people. This is no accident that all these food processing plants built, uh, burnt down, over a hundred of them past couple of years or all the livestock all of a sudden mysteriously died. And now all these chickens mysteriously died of avian flu. And now the price of this is being engineered. This is done on purpose because they need to get you people whipped into shape. And what I mean by that is they want you to depend on them. Remember I just read those, uh, let's go back to the article, here it is. What is this? Oh, shit. How did that happen? It's like it. Uh, hell, I can't even pull it up now. Shit. I don't lost my place. But uh, let's go. Fuck. Uh, where was I? Uh, 
yeah dang it it's just you know with his uh I prove my point on that, but I just want, you know, for reference, uh, but I lost it. But anyway, uh, yeah, so this is part of an agenda, and they have the person that would help them for the agenda in office. All right, you need to realize that. It doesn't, and uh, the fact that people, a lot of people can't see that. What do you think with this, uh, BS is about with this Mar-a-Lago shit with all these uh, top secret or confidential classified, I should say, documents. And then as it turns out, you got the current sitting president that they just found uh, <laughs> documents not only in his uh, home, but in an office that he had rented that was just there, you know, vacant, unattended. Also, the uh, last uh, sitting vice president as in uh, Pence alright so my thing is with that and that goes to show you that they may not be able to do or follow through with what they intended to do with Trump and I think they were trying to go and use the 14th amendment so that he could never run for office again now I don't think because of what happened with the current president with his documents and of course uh, Pence I don't think they can I don't think they can pull that off now <laughs> but regardless they don't want this guy in and they're going to have to speed up all right with what they want to do because <laughs> time is not on their side i just put it that way hey and we always say that because of what scripture uh revelation 12 chapter verse 12 he knows he has but a short time so now you're going to see the horns on this motherfucker come out all right because he wants to set up this this new world order all right Hey, so with that, uh, until the next video, I hope whoever views this is edified. You need to know what's going on, what really is going on, all right? That's why we filter it through the scriptures, all right? So with that, hey, shalom.